Hey, hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is kind of a what I'm reading in June video. Uh, it would normally be a June TBR, but we have now got to the 17th of June and I haven't done it. So um, I'm just going to call it what I'm reading in June because uh, I'm so late at doing what I should have done. Um, but I have run 100 miles last week. I've had a bit of a stressful time over the last few weeks. And um, so yeah, you're getting my June 2 TBR on the 17th of June and um, next week I'm going to be celebrating Christmas. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so um, the things that I'm reading in June, um, some of them I haven't even started or really, I don't, you know, I've only read the blurb so I don't really know what they're about and I quite like doing that when I'm reading, um, just going into something cold because it's... Um, I find it more exciting uh, when I have no idea what it's going to be. So the first one that I've got, which I haven't started, is A Girl with the Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevalier. Um, I know it's a movie now and I have, well, <laughs> it's been a movie for a while. Uh, that ha And it's got Scarlett Johansson as the main character, I think. Um, I haven't watched the movie. Um, I do like to always read the book before I watch a movie. So... Um, I don't really have any intention of watching the film, but um, I just thought, it's, and it's quite a short one, so I wanted to read something that was a bit more challenging, um, a bit more of like a, a modern classic, but uh, that wasn't too challenging, you know, because I'm, yeah, I'm not really in a place where I want to push myself too much, but I feel like I'm, I'm not pushing myself at all at the moment, so yeah, I got this one, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think I should be able to fly through it anyway though, but yeah. Um, next one I've got, I have read the most of it now um, and I'm really enjoying it uh, and it is The Girl With All The Gifts um, and it's by M.R. Carey who is a, um, he's a graphic novel writer stroke artist and um, I think this is like his first foray into uh, writing novels. Uh, it's been really exciting, really interesting and yeah just really really good and I know again this has been made into a movie recently. I don't think it's out yet here um, but I have seen that it's been made into a movie but basically it's about a girl, you, you're introduced to this girl where she's in a cell and every morning um, these people come in and they strap her to a wheelchair and wheel her into a classroom and then she has her lesson and then they wheel her back and that's kind of her life um, and it turns out that there's an infection that has spread through the country, the world, that um, has turned people into hungries um, and they are people who will eat or infect normal people so it's a bit of a like post-apocalyptic type novel um, and the whole story revolves around this girl who has become hungry but she's not fully infected, something has stopped it so she's still got her a bit of her human characteristics. Uh, it's, it's really good, um, the, the base that she, she's been living on and been held pris prisoner in, that um, it gets attacked at one point and then they have to live outside of these normal confines that she's used to uh, and that's what the, the story is about but um yeah it's really really good and it's it's gripping and it's quite a big one but it's kept me going so I don't normally read big books because I look at them and just think no mm -mm, not doing it but um yeah I've really enjoyed this one and I would highly recommend it uh if I did the whole um goodreads thing I would probably give it four stars but I'm too lazy to do Goodreads reviews, so uh, I won't, but four stars, yeah. Um, my other one, again, I don't really know a lot about what it's about apart from um, what I've read on the blurb, but it's basically this girl sees her advert, an advert in the newspaper and her face is on it and there's a website and um, she doesn't know why, you know, she shouldn't be on that be in that picture um so she, she she doesn't know why or or she, she's just a bit 
freaked out as he would be. So um, I think the story find, that follows why she was in the picture and who the other girls are that are pictured um, in this advert day after day after day. Um, I will definitely, when I've read it, tell you in a bit more detail and a bit more clarity what it's about because that was a really, really crap um, description. <laughs> but it's by Claire McIntosh who did I Let You Go and I loved that. Um, it was a really, really, really good thriller. Um, and this is her follow up. I, think, I don't think this is, I think it was written after I Let You Go. Yeah. But um, I did love her writing so I thought I'll give this one a go. Um, and again, Sainsbury's three ninety nine. Sainsbury's are robbing me blind. Well, they're not because that's quite cheap, but I can't I can't get past that bookshop, the book section without buying. Now that I've quit wine and stuff, um, yeah, I have a proper book problem. So uh, thank you, Sainsbury's. I see you, Claire McIntosh. Um, my fourth one is uh, an audio book that I am reading on. Uh, that well, I've got on Audible, um, I'm listening on my phone, and it is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. Um, I read Girl on the Train near the beginning of the year and absolutely loved it. Um, probably one of my favourite reads from this year, so I thought I'll give it another go. But it's only out in hardback at the moment, and it's like a tenner, and um, I was a bit reluctant to spend that much on a book. Um, when it was on Audible, I was like, well, I'm, I'm paying the seven ninety nine anyway. So so I thought, I'll get that one. Um, and I do find Audible quite difficult um, to concentrate because I'm a bit, I'm one of those people who m my mind wanders a bit. So if I'm listening to something, I can sometimes zone out and then I've missed five minutes of somebody speaking and I've lost what's going on in the story so I do find it quite difficult so I try to pick books that are quite easy to follow and I find thrillers are quite pacey so although you, you do have to concentrate so that you don't get lost um, it, it kind of keeps you with it a bit better because you're kind of gripped by it so I'm, I'm giving it a go I think I'm probably about halfway through it and I'm really impressed so far there are a lot of characters in it um, and a lot of different points of view. It takes different characters' points of views. Um, but it's basically about a, uh, a drowning pool um, where a lot of women have been, gone to either commit suicide or um, they've been, in, in, the, in the past, they've been taken there if people think they're witches and they've been drowned there. So it's got this long history of women dying there. Um, but this recently they've had a couple of women who have died and the police are investigating uh the daughters are involved and it looks as though it might be murder rather than accident or suicide so uh i i don't know i'm not far enough into it to even speculate who it could be that has murdered these people but um it's it's good it's good i'm enjoying it I'm a fan of Paula Hawkins um, and that is pretty much all I've got for this month. Um, as I say I've almost finished The Girl With All The Gifts and I'm probably about halfway through the um, Into The Water so it's just the other two to read. I've got a week off now so I should um, be able to read through them pretty quick um, but the weather is lovely so I'm sitting out in the garden reading at the moment and I keep falling asleep because it's so hot, so uh, uh, I have to try not to do that. So I'm just trying to drink lots of coffee and um, Coca-Cola and, um, yeah, just anything caffeinated just to keep me, <laughs> keep me going. But yeah, okay. Right, so that is the end of my video and I will let you know when I finish those books and I'll give you a bit of an update on what I thought of them. Bye!